जय हिंद चिल्ड्रन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव कंप्लीटेड स्टोरी ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप एंड इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स सो टुडे वी शैल कंटिन्यू आवर क्लास विद द टाइप्स ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स बिफोर दैट लेट मी रिवाइंड दिस डेफिनेशन ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर विच आर वेरी स्मॉल so that cannot be seen with our naked eye without support to our eye we cannot see this very small micro organisms this can be viewed only through the microscope microscope is an instrument which makes us to see the smaller objects appear in the large size right microscope is an instrument which make, uh, makes smaller objects appear in larger size okay with the micro help of microscopes we can see the micro organisms and also we learned that antony van leeuwenhoek discovered the micro organisms when he discovered this he called them as animal cules he called small living creatures which we he observed under the microscope as animal cules later these animal cules were named as bacteria some of them are named as protist okay so uh, only after the discovery of this animal cules the world came to know that there are three types of living organisms besides the plants and animals the world came to know the existence of another living creatures that is micro organisms living things are no how many types three types right so even these micro organisms are micro organisms are or of five types or of five types first one bacteria second one protozoa third one fungi fourth algae fifth micro arthropods micro arthropods in the last class we learned that there are uh, living things we can classify living things into two types right based on the number of cells based on number of cells we can divide living things into two categories right first one is unicellular organisms or multicellular organisms in the unicellular organisms only one cell is present in their body whereas in the multicellular organisms more than one cell more than one cell like 2 300 1000 of cells can be observed in the multicellular organisms even in this microorganisms some of them are multicellular and some of them are unicellular for example bacteria and protozoa both are unicellular microorganisms means they these bacteria on the protozoa contains only one single cell in their body structure coming to the fungi some of the fungi are unicellular and some of the fungi are multicellular so they can fungi are two types again unicellular fungi and multicellular fungi algae is also two types unicellular and multicellular micro arthropods are multicellular micro organisms now next is the first class of micro organism is bacteria the very speciality of bacteria is its diversity I mean diversity means variety different types of bacteria we can see 
around us and the bacteria can sustain in different kinds of adverse conditions 